the first thing we do is we put it in this catapult looking device that you see here. We call it the rocket launcher. The end caps are taken off of the drive tube and then uh, threaded metal rods with plates on the end were actually inserted into either end. Then the sample is picked up from the rocket launcher and it's put into this device over here with the wheel on it. As that wheel gets turned very slowly, the threads engage and the rod starts to move and it pushes the sample out. That core uh, was collected by uh, Gene Cernan. As I was working on uh, the edge of a, of a crater nearby, well, one of the most important tools that we had was this uh, core tube, a uh, double drive tube, and you could drive these into the surface. Now, it's still very difficult. It was the best we had, and we got a, quite a number of very good cores uh, that uh, are giving us new information not only about the nature of this debris layer, but also within those cores is the history of the sun. It was anticipated early on in the Apollo program that uh, analytical technology would mature, would uh, become much more sophisticated with time, that we could gain new information from the same old samples. And it makes it uh, very, very exciting for everybody. In fact, Apollo never ended for lunar scientists. Our analytical techniques have gotten to the point where we can actually detect the water that is in some of these ancient lunar rocks. We've actually been able to constrain um, that there is a common history and a common source between the Earth-Moon system, which is what we had learned previously previously by other studies of the Apollo lunar samples, that we have um, X-ray computed tomography, or XCT now. This is a way for us to actually look at the three-dimensional structure of a sample where we could not do that before. There's a whole industry of engineers who are studying how to extract resources from the moon. And so one of the things that we want to do during Artemis is actually test out some of these new technologies and see how effective they are at extracting the water and these other materials. Thinking forward to Mars, we've only ever sent robotic missions to Mars. And so when we send people to Mars, these are things we're going to have to consider. So this core has a multitude of information to give us. And we're, as you can tell, I think, all of us are very excited about getting a chance to work on it. There's a lot we don't know about the rest of the moon, and, and there's a lot we don't know about in between these various sites that Apollo landed at. And so gathering new information, uh, particularly from the South Pole, but there are many other areas on the far side, that will start to define much more, uh, give us much more information about lunar science. You have to remember that everything we're learning about the moon relates to the very early history of the solar system and particularly to the very early history of the Earth. Subscribe for more space.